A cinnamon roll pizza. That's what we are creating today. Hello everyone. My name is Sarah McLaughlin. Welcome to Quali Pops. Let's get started. Now before we get into this video, there are links in the description box so you can help donate to organizations that are helping fight the coronavirus. We are all affected by this. So if you can donate, please do. Do you guys like this hairstyle? It's very exotic. It's French. It's called quarantine. I'm going to this extremely exclusive party in my living room tonight. You're not invited, all right? Actually, nobody is invited. That's how exclusive it is. You're like genuine. Who's going? Nobody. So I saw somebody making cinnamon rolls on TikTok and I decided I wanted to be a part of that. But I don't want to make cinnamon rolls. I'm pretty lazy. So I had this in my freezer. It's signature select. That's how you can tell that it's fancy. I've been really into pizza. So that's why I'm making a cinnamon roll pizza. I'm gonna try and turn this into a pizza. Hopefully it works. I think it's gonna work. Hopefully. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna need some parchment paper. Come on! So it comes with cinnamon roll and then it comes with this icing to go on top. That's a very cute pouch. Look at that. It's like a Keurig. A icing, ice cream Keurig. Okay, so I know that these are gonna puff up a lot. And so I'm gonna roll them out just a little bit. So I'm only gonna use four because I'm one person eating a whole pizza and I can't eat that much. So that's good. That's a good portion size. I'll use this for another recipe. So to create this pizza, I'm going to squish it like this. Add another piece of parchment paper on top. And we're gonna roll it out so it sticks. Come on and stick. Stick together. Ooh. That's looking pretty. I'm liking that. Keep rolling until you're happy with the size, not too thin. How thin exactly? I don't know, this is my first time. But I think it's gonna puff up, so that's why we're gonna roll it out even thinner. I like thin crust, I don't like thick crust. You like thick crust, you monster? Unveil? Oh, that's not a circle, but that's fine. So I've got my beautiful crust. I'm just going to take a cast iron skillet and butter it so that our crust doesn't stick. It also makes it so that the bottom is like nice and golden brown, crispy. Oh, I love that. We're gonna add our... Oh, that was perfect! Look at that! Okay. So we added our crust upside down, just like that. Oh! And I'm gonna butter it some more. Just add some more butter on top. So we got a nice butter. How much butter? I don't know. I didn't think about this in advance. I just decided to make it. Oh, this is gonna be good. I can tell already. I'm excited. Good. So this is gonna go into the oven for, hold on, let me look at the label. 400 degrees for 13 to 17 minutes. Now while this is in the oven, I'm gonna start to work on the toppings of our pizza. And I actually, I'm just using whatever I have on hand. Pecans, I've got this. I'm gonna use a little bit of fondant just because I want to make some chocolate pepperonis. That's the idea. And I saw that there's circles on the packaging, so I was like, okay, thin layers of fondant. That could be cool because pepperoni is kind of chewy too. <laughs> and my pecans are gonna be toasting in the oven along with my pizza dough so that. It'll be toasted pecans, it'll be really good. This is still a cinnamon roll, so everything's gonna be added later and not while this is bacon. It's not all bacon together or else it would just be this sugary mess. I found this in my pantry. I don't know what the expiration date is though. July 2019. Okay, so this is getting thrown away. February 2020. Well, that's, I mean, it's one month. One month, that's fine. What is this white stuff? Is that paint? I don't even know. But one month can't be too bad, right? Best before, right? So, uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't think I'll die. Now, I really don't want this to be too sweet. So I'm gonna cut my icing with some cream cheese. I've just got half a container of cream cheese. I'm just going to squeeze my store-bought icing into it. It really can't be too sweet, especially since I'm adding all of that expired 
caramel. <laughs> and expired caramel is like really sweet. So we're just gonna mix it, mix it in. This actually, this icing would be really good on bagels just cause it's, it's just got that really nice hint of sweetness now. With the icing, time to work on our fondant. Okay, I should taste this first. Mmm. Actually, that's better than regular fondant. Roll out very thin pieces of fondant. We don't want this thick at all because we want this to melt in our mouths. Try to keep them close together so that you can cut as many pepperonis as you want. Set this aside. Now we just gotta wait. So here it is, straight out of the oven. I wish I had rolled them closer together because there's still like a little bit, you can see in the middle there. It is the perfect thickness. All that butter is just doing wonders, you guys. Let's top this baby. Hold up, I'm gonna move this closer together so it looks better when I post this on Instagram. I'm lying to you, I'm lying. Add it, make sure you leave room so you got a nice crust there. Oh my God, I'm really excited for this now. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Now we're gonna add our pepperonis. Oh man, that looks like a pizza. <laughs> I wanna make sure there's room for um, my pecans. And you know this, they looking good as well. And I was actually able to find some non-expired caramel sauce. So, just gonna drizzle just a little bit on top. Yes. And you know how you always put like grated cheese? Well, I'm gonna put some grated Oreos. Grated Oreo dust. Like that. <laughs> And I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 500 degrees for about a minute, just so everything softens up. And the, maybe there's like a little bit of caramelization. Who knows? I don't know what's gonna happen. You put it in and you expect, and you hope for the best. For you guys, wow. I put it in the broiler for about a minute and it made the fondant look like pepperoni because of the way that it caramelized. It's insane, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Everything about this is gorgeous. I love the crust. I love the way that looks like cheese. All of these like chocolate pepperonis and that beautifully toasted pecan. It's just gorgeous. And the Oreo crumbs make it look so rustic. It's gorgeous, I love the way this came out. Oh, this looks like a bomb dessert pizza. Time for the moment of truth. So my first bite is gonna be all fondant, all fondant pepperoni. Let's see if this is good. Wow, that's really good. Oh. So the chocolate fondant really ends up tasting like a Tootsie Roll. And there's so much cream cheese in this. <laughs> Add a little bit of the caramel, but then because of all the cream cheese and the icing, it's not super sweet. And I just took a bite of the fondant and the pecan, so you get all of these textures just in your mouth, just like a washing machine. And the crust is so good too. All of that butter goodness. I know you're there. Wow. <laughs> It's just speechless. I can't believe I made this. This is the best thing in the world. Hello, number two. Come here. Okay, I'm gonna have one more slice. This crust, this very thin cinnamon roll crust is bomb. I don't know if it's because I rolled it super thin or it's all the butter that I added to the bottom and the top, but it's nice and flaky, just enough crunch. It's so good. This is so good. You should be jealous that you're not eating this right now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed eating it. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat it all. I'm gonna gain all the weight. I don't care, it's gonna be great. Now I do have four more cinnamon rolls, so if you have ideas on how you think I should bake them or prepare them or any types of food you think I should try and manipulate them into. I love you guys, I'll see you very soon. Peace!